Hello friends, welcome back to my channel again. I am Vijay Lohar here with the third part of NAT configuration in Cisco Router. In this session, we are going to see how to apply PAT as a translation method in our router. In our earlier video, we have discussed that NAT is a method of translating one IP address to another IP address. And basically it is used to translate private IP address to public IP address. We have also discussed about private and public IP address. Private IP address are the freely available IP address which we use to create our local area network as the global IP address we get from our local ISP server or internet service provider and we pay some money for the, using that, that global IP address. In our scenario as you can see here we are assuming that this is our local ISP and this is our internet router and we are getting this range of IP address here. And the first IP address of this range 11.9.0.1 is used by this interface and 11.9.0.2 is using our internal router in serial 0 by 0. So the IP starts from 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14 is still in our hand. So we have configured some static net here as you can see here like uh, so IP net translation is the command IP net translation is the command to verify whether we have already configured some NAT configuration and as you can see here 192.168.168.2 which is the IP address of your DNS server using 11.9.0.3 and 192.168.168.3 168.168.3 which is the IP address of your web server and 192.168.168.4 which is the IP address of your FTP server using this global or public IP address. So we have configured these three IP address statically one by one. So this IP address is not going to be used by any other computer anymore. And further we have configured dynamic net. In dynamic net we used to translate entire network IP address to a range of global IP address using a single command but uh, in PAT situation PAT is also called port address translation or overloading method of translation where we do not have multiple global IP address but we have only one single public IP address. So we are not going to apply this here we will use this network for PAT configuration just assume that this is your remote branch and remote branch is having a router and your router is connected with uh, their local ISP server and ISP server has assigned a single register IP address like if I verify enable so IP in brief so this is your IP address 15.10.9.1 is the IP address you have got from your ISP router at this point that is serial 0 by 0 and only this IP address is the global IP address for your entire network and your entire computer or entire network need to access internet resource using this single IP address. In this scenario we need to configure our another translation method and this method is called PAT. So PAT is a method of translation where multiple private IP address will be translated within a single register or global IP address. So let us see how to configure PAT like uh, in previous method we used to define each interface as a global interface and inside interface. So I am accessing fast ethernet 0 by 0 and I am defining that IP net this is the inside interface and again interface serial 0 by 0 will be IP net outside. So I have enabled both interface for the net using IP net inside and IP net outside command and now router knows that which interface is connected with the internet and which is connected with the LAN and now we can configure our translation method using overloading. So what we have to do here is like dynamic method we need to create an access list like access list 10 permit 192.168.0.0 the entire network 
while card will be 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 2 5 5 and now your access list 10 containing entire network information to permit so what next we have to do here is we'll have to apply net ip net inside address will be in list source list will be in 10 and it has to translate within interface serial 0 by 0 using overloading method so this is the command ip net inside source list 10 so whatever ip address in list 10 will translate to the ip address in serial 0 by 0 using overloading method so let's verify it using command so ip net translation there is nothing because no one has accessed anything right now so once i try to access our web server like 11.9.0.4 is the registered or global ip address of your web server and we are getting web page so once i try to access our web service now see here like 192.168.0.2 is using 15.10.9.1 and for again if i am trying to access our internet using other computer what i'll get here once again as you can see here once i try to access our web service using ip address to 192.168.0.2 and now i am trying to access web service using 192.168.0.5 and both computer using same ip address to forward the packet over the internet but one thing to consider here like each computer is getting different port numbers so the path is the method which used to send internet request using a single IP address but with different port that's why it is called port address translation and because multiple address translated within a single registered address so it is called overloading method of translation so now all the computers of this network will access your server using a particular fixed public IP address but with different ports so guys this is the method of applying NAT in our router I hope you have got a better concept about applying static dynamic and path configuration in router if you like this video keep watching and sharing with your friends and of course don't forget to subscribe our channel in our next video we'll meet with some other topic of CCNA until then bye bye